Hey guys, Gunshy Mora here with another video, and today we are going to be looking at the best settings for ARC in 2023. So, go hop in here. I have changed, definitely changed up the way I play things in the last year. So, these have definitely changed. Uh, mostly, difficulty is still at 1. Um, the, the only other ones that are changed from here on are... The XP multiplier, I have that turned up to two times XP. Taming speed is times five. Then the dino harvest damage and harvest amount are the exact same. I knew I had them change last time, but the harvest amount is left at one. Uh, the character food drains, dino drains, and stamina drains. All the drains have been left alone. The only other ones that have been changed up here before we get down to like our check marks are the player character health recovery and the dino character health recovery. I have bumped those up to three. And then the dino count for the map, I have that bumped up to two. So that way there's double the amount of dinos on the map. And since how it's just going to be one person playing, these this is going to be pretty easy to help you get some high level creatures. But anyways, going down here, the only thing that we have enabled so far is an allow third person camera. If you want to go through and like enable crosshair and enable show player location on the map, you can. Um, I just don't do that personally. Um, make sure though you do have single player settings turned off. So do not be using single player settings. Um, make sure you have maximum difficulty selected and enable PvP gamma. Make sure that is turned off. I forgot to do that. Um, this is just so that way like the night vision goggles are better. But if you don't plan on using that, go ahead and leave this on. Um, then scrolling down, I have corpse locator turned off personally. But if you guys want that on, go ahead. But then we have disable structure placement collision turned on. Allow multiple platform, platform floors turned on and allow unlimited respects this is just so that way we can build into things and this is so that way we can build more on platform saddles and allowing unlimited respects is just so that way we can uh we really don't need it because we do have auto engram but that's just in case we need to respect our stats we just got an unlimited amount that we can do it and then the only th last thing that is enabled here in general is allow flyer speed leveling and yeah, that should be it here for this first part. So now on to the advanced settings. Alrighty, now that we're over in the advanced settings, so we're just going to see here, these ones here, these top check marks, we just skip through them because that's all PVE relevant. So we do not need it. So now if we go down here past all the stuff that says PVE and we go down to per, like prevent diseases and non-permanent disease, diseases, this is the stuff we're going to want to check. So, force allow K flyers, check. That just makes it, like, on maps like Ragnarok or uh, Fenjordor, Volgara, the modded maps. It just makes it so that way those massive caves you can fly through like they intended. Um, then we ha have override structure platform prevention. That's the only one other one that needs to be... And this, I would suggest do not have this check marked if you're going to be playing with friends. Do not increase your respawn interval. Because I know, it, you know, if you're playing with friends and it's PvP, you're going to kill each other every now and again just for laughs. Alright. But now if we go down to this, the raid protection stuff, we skip through that all the way down to world settings. And this is the stuff where we start selecting. Now, this stuff, like here... This, Disable imprint dino buff. I highly suggest you do not do this in single player. It just makes it harder to fight the bosses. Um, I would suggest that you, if you are playing with multiple people, you have allow anyone baby imprint. It's just so that way anyone in your tribe can imprint on the babies. So we're going to skip the pooping interval and egg laying interval here. And we're going to hop right into the mating interval. And we're going to have that set at 0 0.001. This will make it so it's about 5-10 minutes on a creature's uh, egg interval. I believe on, what is it, uh, Acros from the Arc Edition mod, it was almost like 10 minutes. So, 
it should be helpful. Um, then we have the egg hatch speed set to 50. It should take an egg about 10 minutes to hatch. 10-5, again. It's roughly about the same as the mating interval. So if you're breeding, like, reptiles, um, it should only take you about 20 minutes to get a creature from breeding. But then again, you do have to grow it. And that brings us on to baby matri mature speed, which is I have set at 100. And that is the perfect amount. Perfect. All right. They'll grow up just as fast as you need them to. But now the more important thing about the mature speed is the cuddle. Wait, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Cuddle grace period multiplier. I couldn't see it. So it is... Yeah, it's down here. If you can if you can see where my cursor is. It's just down here. So you have that set to 0 0.023 and that will make it so that way you have just just enough in that 100 like that 100 times mature speed. You have just enough to get in there and get enough imprints on all creatures to get 100%, but you have to be there exactly on time. So you do have to watch your creatures when you're breeding them. But now scrolling down even more, we kind of just skip through all this stuff. If you want to increase the stat scale multiplier or the imprint, you can. I'm leaving mine at 1 because otherwise they get a little OP. So then the spoil timers for items and uh, stuff in your inventory, I have set to 0 0.5. Then corpse decay, I have set to 1. That is the normal one, I believe. And then the only other one that we have changed is crop growth speed, which I have bumped up to 30. That is just so that way your uh, your stuff grows a little bit faster. Um, I can't remember if I changed anything in the dino stats. I don't believe I did. Uh, I think I actually did, though, because the weight is up. Stamina is up. Alrighty. If this is different... <laughs> Copy it. But the ones I do know I changed are the player stats. So the player stats, I've bumped the health up to 1.5. The weight, I've bumped up to 2.5. Damage is up, up to 2 and speed's up to 1.5. Those are the only stats I messed with to like change stuff. So that way, it's going to be kind of a more vanilla-ish style. But again, with the dinos... I mean, I've changed them so little, I can't even tell I've changed them. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, because this is like usually like, oh, this is 17. So yeah, I have changed the dino stats here. Um, So I have the health set to 0 0.5 on the dinos. Weight set to 1.5. Damage set to 0 0.25. And speed set to 1.15. And I think that's all that I changed on those really is those four stats. Just so that way it's a little bit easier. But anyways, now that we go down to the XP multipliers, this is something you could completely skip out on. This is just something I do in particular. But I make it so that way kills are worth three times more XP. Your Grace Ape, your generic XP, I leave alone. The Harvest XP, I give 1.5. Crafting, I give times two. And then for special, I also give it times three. So killing things and getting special buffs, I believe is the best way to level using these settings. So, and then the only other things that we have enabled down here are allow custom recipes and allow raid dino feeding. And then you slide this all the way down to 0 0.01. And that's just so that way your raid dinos don't uh, starve to death immediately. But all right, now we got crafting skill bonus. I have that set up to two. Then I have the supply, supply crate loot quality set to 4, fishing loot quality set to 5, and the fuel consumption speed is set to exactly 1.601. There's just a magic number in here where it seems like you never run out of fuel at this number. I'm not lying. You will see it. It's almost like it doesn't use it. But yeah. Anyways, that actually is probably going to be it for the settings right now. I got all the stuff I needed. 
to show you. So yeah, if anything does change in my settings, I will post another updated video. But yeah, these should be pretty decent settings to play through on single player. It's not going to be overpowered. And uh, things are. it's just going to make it so that way like taming stuff is a little bit faster. And building stuff is a little bit faster. But it's going to be almost exactly the same. The stats are going to be just a tiny bit boosted. It's an itty bitty boost. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So anyways, but yeah, this has been Gunshy More, signing off. Peace.